Hey everybody, today we're with Dr. Chris Covert in our Balance Center. We're gonna rehab this old lady. <laughs> everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Squires. And I'm Dr. Carly Squires. And this is Dr. Squires Squared. This is a channel where we have candid and casual conversations about anything audiology. And if you're not sure what we're talking about, make sure to stick around. We'll tell you everything we know. Um, unilateral vestibular weakness is a pretty common condition that's probably under-recognized. Um, it's when one inner ear, what we call the vestibular system, isn't working well with the other ear and with your brain and your eyes. So when we go through our daily activities, uh, both inner ears or vestibular systems work with our brain and eyes to keep us oriented and keep our equilibrium working well throughout the day. So for example, like when you change positions or you turn your head quickly to look at an object or when you're driving or you bend over to pick something up, your vestibular system coordinates that. If one inner ear is not working well, then You'll feel, you could feel dizzy or off balance, or when you change positions too quickly, you might feel a little bit woozy. So those are some of the common symptoms you'll notice with a unilateral weakness. Uh, unilateral vestibular weakness can cause a lot of symptoms, and sometimes we blow them off, uh, but usually you can rehabilitate these and get the person feeling better. Uh, the most common symptoms are feeling woozy when you change positions too quickly. Um, you're, you can feel like your equilibrium's off or feel a little bit dizzy when you move your head too quickly. Some people experience these symptoms with driving and then some people experience it through their day when they turn their head too quick or they bend down to pick up an object and come back up too quickly. So a lot of people are compensating for their vestibular weakness by trying not to move quickly when in reality you can get it diagnosed with some in-depth testing and then get it rehabilitated. So it's a good thing um, to address if you're having those types of symptoms with your physician. Um, the other thing that you can experience is you'll stumble during your walking or veer off to one side. So you're walking down a hallway and you veer towards one wall all of the time. That's another symptom of unilateral vestibular weakness. So when you do vestibular rehabilitation, um, your primary goals are to restore a person's ability to be able to do their daily tasks without experiencing any dizziness. So people with this, it's common to kind of normalize, oh, I'm feeling a little dizzy today. Well, we want to eliminate that so you can go through your day without feeling dizzy. So for instance, when you bend down to pick up an object, when you're driving, or you change positions quickly in bed, or you're looking over your shoulder quickly or changing directions quickly when you're walking, um, you should not experience dizziness when you do those activities. So rehabilitation works on exercises to coordinate what your vestibular system or inner ear is doing with your eyes and your brain. And once you get that re-coordinated with exercises and you practice them at home as well, it'll, your inner ear will start to collaborate well with the brain, the eyes, and the other inner ear again on the weak side. And once it starts correlating again, the person will be able to do all their daily activities without dizziness any longer. Okay, Carly, so what we're going to do on this exercise is we're going to have you keep your eyes fixated on the X, and while you're keeping your eyes fixated on the X, you're going to do some different head movements. We're going to start with horizontal or moving your head side to side. So whenever you're ready, move your head right and left, but keep your eyes fixated on the X. Okay, and now do your, move your head up and down. Keep your eyes fixed on the X. Okay, and now I want you to move your head in a circular motion. So it looks, so you'll go like this with your head. Okay. And while you do that, and then you'll do three or four one direction and then switch like this. Keep your eyes fixed on the X for that. Okay, so 
what we're going to do now, Carly, is we're going to change the position of your feet to work your vestibular system even a little bit more, and that'll also work some other parts of your equilibrium. So I'm going to have you stand with your heel in front of your toe now. It's going to make it a little bit harder for you, mm -hmm. and you're going to you're going to have to balance a little bit now while you move your head. So now I'm going to have you run through just a couple more of each of those to get your head movements synced up with your eye movements, okay? So what you're doing is you're, you're working your balance system oh, by standing like that. You're working your balance system by putting your feet in that position and then you're getting your inner ear to coordinate with your eye movements by, by moving your head like that. It is when you have a unilateral weakness, <laughs> <laughs> which is why you're doing it. It's harder than you think it's going to be. Okay. Now the next one we're going to do, we're going to use these index cards. One, the reason there's more than one word or number on there is to make your brain focus and make your eyes focus on. So you're going to pick one word and you're going to pick one number on the other card. Okay. Then we're going to do two different things. We're going to use that stance that you were in that was challenging your balance to make the exercise more effective, okay? So on this one, you're going to put the card, you're going to hold a card out like this. You're going to stand in that stance, and then you're going to switch quickly, bring the number into focus, and bring the word into focus. And you're going to switch back and forth quickly like that. Okay. If you lose focus, then you'll slow down the amount of your head movement, okay? Yeah, pick one, and then when you, when you look over, make sure you focus on that word or that number. So it's normal on the first day, it's normal for people to have some unsteadiness and lose their balance. As they progress through this process within a couple of weeks, usually this stuff becomes pretty easy. So the brain the inner ear, vestibular system, and the eyes all start adapting after you do this for a couple of weeks. Oh, goodness. I feel like I'm going to have to catch you. <laughs> so would my goal be to like speed up head movements? Eventually, yes. Yeah. When you're steady, then you can speed up the head movements when you're not as wobbly on your feet. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is one more... So one of the things that we discussed is like if you bend over to pick up an object, sometimes people get dizzy with that. So we're going to do an exercise to train your vestibular system to adjust on the fly and do that more efficiently so that you won't get dizzy or feel that disequilibrium symptom when you change positions. So we're going to do that next and then we're going to do one walking exercise. So if you would come out here, please. Now on this one, you're going to stand with your feet close together like this, okay? And that's once again to challenge your whole equilibrium system. We're going to move your head in diagonal movements. So what you're going to do is four different quadrants. It's going to look like back up over your shoulder like this. Then you're going to bend forward and look back past your opposite leg. And you're going to come back up and then you're going to repeat that in the opposite fashion like this. So one time your head's tilting up and over, then you're going to move it and look back that way. While you're doing that, your inner ear will have to adjust your equilibrium, okay? You can stand there by that bar if you need to. That? Yep, that looks good. Do that, do that a couple of times each way. Yeah. And I'm bending at the waist when I Yeah, you bend at the waist and take your head over. Yep. And then when you look back, tilt your head back and over and rotate it. Perfect. The next one we're going to do, and the last one for today, is going to involve walking with head movements, okay? So what, now we're going to get you moving in a straight fashion like you're walking, but you're also going to be rotating your head back and forth. So what you'll do is wh while you're walking, you'll look right and look left. And what often happens the first day is you might veer off when you walk because your head's moving. 
And then when that sinks up here in a couple of weeks, you won't veer off when you walk. Okay. So we're getting your steps or your gait synced up with your head movements. Mm -hmm. So that gets your inner ear vestibular system synced up with what your feet are doing. Yeah, that looks good. And then when that's easy, you can just speed up just a little bit if that's easy for you. Okay, on this one, what we're gonna do is another walking exercise that's considered a little bit more advanced. Um, so you're gonna walk towards that poster and whatever's eye level, usually about the, where it says heart disease on that poster. So while you're walking towards it, you're gonna keep your eyes fixated on the word heart disease, like we kind of did with the X earlier, mm -hmm. except for this time, you're gonna be walking towards this, the poster there, and you're gonna be moving your head side to side, and then you'll repeat it up and down. So as you walk towards it, move your head side to side and keep your eyes focused on the word heart disease, okay? okay. So that would be considered a little bit more advanced exercise. So once you get the other one mastered where you're just walking with head turns, mm -hmm. then you would progress to walking with keeping your eyes fixated on a target. Mm -hmm. So it can be a picture or it can be words on a poster or something like that. And when you're walking and moving your head and keeping your eyes fixated on an object, that gets everything synced back up and gets that ear with the unilateral weakness to work better with your brain, your eyes, and what your feet are doing. And with repetition, your brain will start to um, adapt to all that and process it better. And then you won't feel those woozy feelings or you won't feel like you're veering off and all those types of annoying symptoms that you're having. All right, everybody, we hope you got some good information today. Um, just keep in mind that this is just one situation. Carly has a unilateral weakness that we're trying to rehabilitate mm -hmm. and get, get her feeling a little bit more comfortable, but this is not isolated uh, to just Carly. Lots of people uh, endure through this mm -hmm. type of, of an issue thinking that it might be just normal for my age or something right. like that. It's not. Falling is not normal, and f the fear of falling is not normal. Mm -hmm. um, imbalance is not normal. Get it checked out. If you like what you heard or you like what you saw today, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you haven't seen something you want to check out or want us to cover, make sure to leave us a comment. Give us a call here at the office, 304-428-2403, or shoot us an email at info at herewv.com. All right. Till next time. Thank you.